in Iowa, affordable, safe, reproductive health care is a basic human right. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celeb reactions to Roe v. Wade overturning. What else you want? For this list, we're looking at famous people who use their platforms to blast SCOTUS's decision to repeal an individual's legal freedom of choice to have an abortion. How do you feel about this decision? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 10. Phoebe Bridgers Like several stars performing at the UK's famous Glastonbury Festival, Bridgers used her platform to respond to the contentious overturning of Roe v. Wade in June 2022. And she did not hold back. All these irrelevant old motherfuckers trying to tell us what to do with our bodies. She had some powerful words about those who made the decision and led the crowd in yelling F the Supreme Court. In May 2022, the motion sickness singer opened up about her personal experience with abortion. This was around the same time that the documents regarding this controversial matter were first leaked. She divulged that she visited Planned Parenthood while on tour the year prior. She talked about how easy and accessible the service was and that it should be available to all. Number 9. Jasmine Sullivan Sullivan called on men to stand up and support women during her acceptance speech for Best Female R&B Slash Pop Artist at the BETs. Although she didn't name the controversial verdict or call out the Supreme Court, her message was one of solidarity and unity. It's a hard time right now for us, and I want to speak directly to the men. Uh, we need y'all. The singer-songwriter reminded the men in the audience that it isn't just a women's issue, but actually affects everyone. She also pointed out that men have benefited from a woman's right to terminate a pregnancy. She urged them to speak up and have the backs of all womankind. If you've ever benefited from a woman making one of the toughest decisions of her life, which is to terminate a pregnancy, you need to be standing with us. This is not just a woman's issue. Her plea was met with a chorus of yeahs from the audience. Well, you know what they say, actions speak louder than words. Number eight, Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion stopped midway through her Glastonbury set to address the decision. Now y'all know it wouldn't be me if I didn't take a second to call out these stupid ass men. The hot girl summer artist told the audience how embarrassed she felt by her home state of Texas and called out the quote, stupid ass men behind the verdict. With a thumbs down, she encouraged the audience to boo the overturning and led them in chanting a more explicit take on My Body, My Choice. I need everybody in the audience right now to say My Body, My Mother Choice! The rapper also made an Instagram post detailing the impact of Roe v. Wade's overturning and what people can do to help. She condemned the court for failing everyone, but vowed to keep fighting for people to have access to the services they need. Number 7. Jody Sweeten the Full House alum was seen attending a protest against the overruling in Los Angeles. In footage shared on social media, you can hear the crowd chanting, No justice, no peace. <laughs> Sweeten also appears to have been shoved to the ground by the LAPD, who claimed they were just trying to keep protesters off the freeway. Later, a representative for the actress reported that she was okay following the incident. I was walking and one of the officers just snatched my bag and Did they say anything to you? They just No. Sweeten also released a statement saying she was proud of, quote, the hundreds of people who showed up yesterday to exercise their First Amendment rights. She vowed to keep fighting, saying, quote, we are not free until all of us are free. There is no action too small, um, whether it's, you know, calling uh, your representatives, whether it's getting out in the streets, if you can afford to do that. Number six, Kesha. On the very same day that Roe v. Wade was repealed, Kesha was headlining Pride Live's Stonewall Day performance in New York City. First acknowledging the experiences and history of the LGBTQ plus community, she then told the audience she couldn't pass up the opportunity to highlight such an important issue and asserted that she's, quote, not done fighting for abortion rights. The We Are Who We Are singer called for unity at this difficult time and implored her audience to join this critical fight. Her speech touched on the importance of sticking together, and she concluded, 
Number five, Janelle Monet. We absolutely deserve to celebrate, especially now we must celebrate our art by protecting our right and our truths. Monet made a powerful speech at the BET Awards before raising their middle finger to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court. However, that wasn't the only statement they made that evening. The singer collaborated with stylist Alexandra Mandelkorn and designer Roberto Cavalli to create a look that reflected the current mood in the wake of this seismic ruling. You'll notice that the bodice is caged around their body, and if you take a closer look, you'll see it's embellished with details representing empowerment and protection. According to its creators, this look was designed with my body, my choice in mind. In an Instagram post, the outfit was declared as one that was effing, quote, all the patriarchal codes. Number four, Billie Eilish. The bad guy singer joined the chorus of voices using the Glastonbury stage to express their outrage at Roe v. Wade's overturning. While headlining the event, she was joined by her brother Phineas to perform Your Power, a song aptly about those who exploit their power and privilege. The concept of power and how we need to always remember yes! not to abuse it. Eilish preceded her stirring performance by addressing this, quote, really dark day in American history. She told audiences she had nothing more to add because she couldn't, quote, bear to think about it any longer in this moment. Really, really dark day for uh, women in the U.S. And uh, I'm just going to say that because I can't bear to think about it any longer in this moment. Eilish has long supported abortion rights and even referenced Roe v. Wade in her 2022 song, TV. She's been an outspoken critic of the plans to revoke abortion rights since the documents were leaked in May 2022. Number three, Taraji P. Henson. And you're damn right, it's about damn time. Hosting the 2022 BET Awards, Henson emerged on stage to celebrate black excellence in culture. However, she took a moment to address the dark cloud hanging over the country. Following Lizzo's opening performance of About Damn Time, she called the reversal of Roe v. Wade a, quote, sad day for America. Guns have more rights than a woman. It's a sad day in America. Henson also praised the singer for teaming up with Live Nation to pledge $1 million to Planned Parenthood and abortion rights. She then blasted SCOTUS over their damning ruling and, quote, the fact that guns have more rights than a woman. She highlighted how ridiculous it was that a weapon responsible for taking lives had more protection than a human who can give life, should they choose to do so. A weapon that can take lives has more power than a woman who can give life if she chooses to. Number two, Rita Moreno. All the awards in the world will never make up for the things I have experienced in my life. In the wake of this colossal ruling, the West Side Story star recounted her own experience with abortion in a world before Roe v. Wade. She became pregnant while dating actor Marlon Brando, who paid $500 for an abortion. The procedure was carried out incorrectly and could have cost the actress her life. Moreno had previously discussed the medical procedure in her memoirs and 2021 documentary. Speaking to Variety, she remembered feeling, quote, jubilant when Roe v. Wade first passed in the 70s. She added that while she's not shocked by its overturning, she fears the impact. However, she is ready and eager to join the fight, declaring, quote, we loudmouths are going to have to get busy. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Billy Joe Armstrong. The Green Day frontman told crowds he plans to renounce his citizenship. F America, I'm f renouncing my citizenship. I'm f Kendrick Lamar. The rapper used his Glastonbury set to voice solidarity. They judge you, they judge Jesus Christ. God speed for women's rights. Chris Evans. The actor shared relevant resources on his social channels. Jamie Lee Curtis. The actress vowed to fight for her daughters. Danny DeVito. He kept his thoughts short and straight to the point. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications.
Number one, Olivia Rodrigo. I wanted to dedicate this next song to the five members of the Supreme Court who have showed us that at the end of the day, they truly don't give a shit about freedom. Like so many of us, the driver's license singer was also enraged by the Supreme Court's decision to overturn this landmark case. She brought her anger to Glastonbury, telling the crowd how, quote, devastated and terrified she was in the wake of this injustice. I'm devastated and terrified and so many women and so many girls are going to die because of this. She invited British singer Lily Allen to the stage to sing her famous F.U. anthem, which apparently was originally recorded as a protest track aimed at George W. Bush. <laughs> Rodrigo dedicated their duet to the members of the Supreme Court responsible for the ruling, calling them all out by name. This song goes out to the justices, Samuel Alito, Clarence Thomas, Neil Gorsuch. Even over a decade after its release, these lyrics are just as scalding, biting, poignant, and relevant as ever. We hate what you do, and we hate your whole crew, so please don't stay inside. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.